If you get the word earth, you can get the word heart. And the drum has always been the heartbeat of the earth mother. The drum is beat sometimes to let the spirit know that the people are about to honor them through ceremony, to dance, to prayer. things I like to say, all the things that are sacred and spiritual, that unless the young ones carry it on into the new world, it's going to be lost with the elders. And you know, it's, it's going to take that. And among the native people here, there's a, uh, a great uh, balancing that is going on because a lot of the young ones want to buy into what the 20th century is offering them. And if they think if they carry the ways of their elders that they're uh, not cool, you know, or in today's world, it's hard for a native, you know, to try to walk both paths in life. I find it easy to be able to, to be that. But a lot of people, they find it hard to, uh, or don't feel it. I think it's something we either feel or don't feel. Without the, without the songs being kept alive and the prayers and all the sacred ceremonies of the, the young ones don't carry it into the next world, it's going to be lost. And that would be a great shame. But for the past, 350 years, the native people have been forced to forget their ways, forget their songs, forget their dress, and I can still see it being held up strong with a lot of people and those young ones that are carrying the waves, a lot of the young ones that are taking on the dance. And you know, you go to these pueblos and you see these dances. These people are doing it not for the spectators, but for the spirits, to honor the spirits. And the people are, are lucky to be able to be part of that ceremony. To, to, that's what they're really doing it for. And these are things that have been done for hundreds and hundreds of years, from one generation to the next. It brings me great hope to still see these dances being done and these ways being carried on. Even though a lot of them still have their hair short, and, uh, don't want to dress totally traditional. All of nature works constantly to create the beauty of life and the betterment of life for all living things. It's man who works against those things, who pollutes the purity, who smothers the, the air. I hope that man can learn to live in harmony and not work against the gift that the Spirit has given him. These things lie in the future generations and I pray for wisdom in their minds, for purity in their hearts, to come to accept the beauty and the gift that the Spirit has given them.
in this respect. like this and he could see what he thought to be plums at the bottom of this river and they looked very delicious to him so he dove in the water to get them when he got to the bottom of the stream he couldn't find them he came back out shook himself off looked back in the water he could see them again scratch his head Go back in the water, fighting the current, fighting the cold, trying to find these things, and he couldn't find them. Came back out, shook himself off again, looked in the water, and there were the plums. He couldn't figure it out. And Rabbit came along and said, Coyote, what are you doing? Coyote says, I'm trying to get these three delicious looking plums that I see in the water here. But every time I dive to the bottom, they're not there. The rabbit says, Coyote, those plums are not in the water. They're in the tree above you. So that story goes to tell about chasing illusions. One should always be clear about what they see and where they see it. Life has a funny way of tricking us that way, like coyote.
the sage stick is used to repel the negativity. Whenever one does a ceremony, they would burn sage in the circle to make sure there was no negativity in the circle. And then we would burn the sweet grass to welcome in the positive spirits. So these were things that were done to repel the negative and honor the good spirits at the same time. I call them the men to be part of the circle and the ceremony. Because all things are done for the spirits. All things that happen in this world, whatever circle you live in, the spirits are responsible for the things that come into your life, no matter what spirits you believe in.